Hey guys, it's Gerald Wessels with the Wessels Realty Team and welcome to my real estate channel. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion on loans. Now I want to remind you there's a number of different loans and so I hope you'll look at the other videos as well. There's going to be one on um, conventional loans. This one happens to be on FHA and then there's also going to be one on VA loans. And I want to remind you as we get ready to talk about uh, these kinds of loans today that it's very important when you get ready to buy a house to get connected with a mortgage person. Because if you get a mortgage person that really knows what they're doing, they're very up on everything, then they're going to be able to tell you which loan is right for you. And today we're going to be talking about FHA loans. Now, FHA stands for the Federal Housing Administration. So you're going to guess. <laughs> yes, this is one of the federally backed loans. And it's a very, very uh, important loan because it seems like our government encourages people to own a home. And so FHA loans help new buyers or buyers that don't have a lot of money for a down payment to get into a home. And so it's an excellent choice when you're getting ready to buy a home. Stay tuned as we look at this very important loan today. Well, let's talk about the pros of having an FHA loan. Well, the number one <laughs> one is that it often requires, and when I say often, I'm saying that because I don't know exactly when you're going to be listening to this video. And of course, your mortgage person is going to be able to tell you exactly how much you need to put down. But at least when this video is being made, you only have to put 3.5% down. Well, that's, that's a very little amount uh, compared to uh, maybe a conventional loan that might require uh, some, some more down. But it oftentimes, well, at least right now, an FHA loan only requires 3.5% down. Secondly, your credit scores don't have to be as high as maybe a conventional loan. So once again, the, uh, the credit score you have based with only putting 3.5% down, well, it makes it look very, very enticing to get an FHA loan. In addition, a higher DTI is allowed. Remember what DTI stands for? Debt to income. And so you could have more debt, oftentimes with an FHA loan, than with a conventional loan because there's less risk, of course, uh, that is going to be because the government is just giving you more leeway there. Uh, most, uh, number four, most single family and multifamily units uh, will qualify. And then five, there's no income limits. So uh, once again, there's certain restrictions on some loans that are out there, but there's no income uh, limits. And um, number six, of course, you can get a, a cheaper monthly mortgage insurance if your credit score is good. Well, let's talk about some of the, the cons. Well, you're going to have at least currently PMI for the length of the loan, and some people don't like that, but uh, that's just the facts right now. You're going to have PMI for the length of the loan. There are restrictive housing standards. When you get ready to have an FHA loan, there are some standards which the government requires of the home you're buying, you know, how it's built. Uh, it's, it's, they are a little bit more restrictive. There are, number, th number three, there are lower loan limits. And at least at the time of the filming of this video, it's based on the county you live. Once again, you can probably go online and find out what the loan limits are for your particular county, or you can just talk to your mortgage person about that. They'll be a great source of information concerning those because they often change and you need to know what the loan limits are. Now, number four, and I don't really see this as a con because the government is trying to get you into a home. Uh, it is to be used for your primary residence. So here you have an opportunity to maybe buy a house with a, a higher DTI. 
your credit score is not as great, you don't want to put out a whole lot of money, once again, if you're buying your primary residence, it's a perfect, perfect option for you. And then, uh, as we've shared, the one of the cons is you're going to have PMI for the length of the loan. That's that private mortgage insurance, and you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium for it. Uh, I will share, and uh, I think it's okay to say, oftentimes people are going to start out with an FHA loan, and when they get there, people are probably going to switch to a conventional loan in the future to be able to drop their PMI. Well, as I've shared in all of my videos, I want to remind you uh, that none of this is to be construed as legal advice, especially in the mortgage area. I hope you'll talk to your real estate agent and your mortgage person and find out what kind of loan works the best for you. Uh, you know the scoop by now. If the, anything in this video has helped you, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell where the anytime a new video is coming out, you'll be notified of that. And then finally, I want to remind you that I do help people buy, sell, invest in residential and commercial real estate, and I literally refer people all around the world. If you have a need for a real estate agent, be my pleasure to assist you, and I will see you when the next real estate video comes out.